Bariolesque. It's more than an adjective. It's a lifestyle. It means being highly appealing and pleasing to the human senses and or mind. Captivating. Providing pleasure or delight, especially in appearance or manner. Charming. Alluring. Attractive. B. Bariolesque. Cannon Movement fam, what's good, man? It's your boy Raheem again, back representing. I appreciate you guys all tuning in and support. Make sure you like and you subscribe that thing. All right, let's get to it. A good friend of mine recommended this book. It's called Bariola-esque. This book is for everybody. <laughs> Not just the person that doesn't know proper etiquette or the person that doesn't know how to be a gentleman. It's also for the people like me that grew up in the South with a grandmother and a mom that did not play that instilled being a gentleman into you from the day of birth or beat it into you. Either way, you got it. Either way, you got it. So for somebody like me, it complements everything that was built already. So the foundation of what I have, it builds on top of that. It adds so much more. So off top, if I haven't already shown my excitement, I love this book. I think it's a great book. I think everyone should read it. It goes over a range of topics like you know, obviously table etiquette, how to dress, ways to approach women. He goes over the colors you should wear, how you should combine the colors. He goes over wine tasting etiquette. This is so much knowledge and I love this book. It's such an easy read. Like you, you never want to put it down. I mean, you feel like Mr. Bariola is talking directly to you. Like he's the big homie and he's just spitting knowledge to you. Like that's how you feel when you're reading this book. There's so much knowledge in this book um, that you're going to walk away with something. And it's not a long read. It's, it's 187 page, I think, max. You can read it in a day. It's not going to take you long to take care of this and knock it out and gain a lot. That's why I said I, I read it twice, like before I even did this, because I, I just was like, man, this is a good book. You know what I mean? This is a really good book. And I feel like I'm surprised I hadn't read it before. It came out in 2009. So I was like, wow. But like I said, I took a lot away from this book. One of the things that stood out to me the most that hit me was uh, cigar etiquette. I'd never smoked in a cigar before, but <laughs> the thing is, I didn't know anything about it, so I gained a lot of knowledge just off of that. He went over things like the proper way to cut it, to how it should be put out, to how to pick it out when you're buying it. And not only that, but he also talked about the best alcoholic beverages to complement it. I mean, so for me, I'm like, that was gold. You know what I'm saying? Now I can go over there and act like I'm a connoisseur. Like, I know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> that and the wine tasting etiquette, that was pretty big too. Because like I said, I've never been to a wine tasting where I didn't say that, but now you know. I don't know what else to say to convince you, but this is definitely a great book. It's a it's a good book to give somebody as a gift. It's a good book to read yourself. Like this is the book that you want to have in your collection. It's I mean, for lack of a better word, burial esque. Yep. <laughs> as as always, man. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you drop them comments below and uh, subscribe, man. It's your boy Cannon Movement out.